Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we are continuing our discussion on Nextcloud, and today we're going to talk specifically about syncing your calendars and your contacts on Apple devices. And we're just going to include all of these together because Apple is so easy to sync your contacts with your Nextcloud account. Whether you are on your iPhone or your iPad or your Macintosh, the process is actually almost identical across all of them. It is very easy. In fact, I probably don't even need to show you on all of the devices. We are going to do just the iPad and the Mac computer are the two devices we are going to see how to do this on. The iPad and the iPhone are going to be identical uh, because iOS runs the same, you know, just find the right settings, find the right tools, find the right tweaks. So with that being said, we are gonna go ahead and jump on in with the iPad first and then we'll do the Mac second. All right, so as we said, it is gonna be identical on the iPhone and the iPad, anything running iOS. And so first, let's just go ahead and have a quick look at contacts. You'll see that we have no contacts in here. And I believe my calendar is down here. So there's nothing on our calendar. Let me back up to uh, April. You can see there's nothing on my April calendar there. All right, so that's kind of what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be syncing my contacts and my calendar from our test Nextcloud account into this system. We're going to start by going into your settings and then in your general settings, come on down to find mail, contacts, and calendars. And we're just going to add an account. Now you'll see that we don't have a next cloud or an own cloud option. So just push other. And then here we have the place to add our contacts and we have the place to add our calendars. We're just going to create the same account, uh, basically the same account twice, one for contacts and one for calendars. So hitting our contacts here, the first is our server. Okay, and then we need our username, which is test user is our username here. Uh, we need our password. And so I'm going to block out the password screen because the iPad will show us the letters as I type them. Okay, so Let's just go ahead and give it a description. So this is my, uh, I think this is my contacts, right? All right, so TLML contact, we're gonna hit next. It's going to verify the account. And then once it's done, our contacts should be working just fine. Before we test these, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process. Uh, so there is our contacts. We're gonna go ahead and repeat it again for our calendar. Now CalDAV account. Now, if you remember our issue on evolution is we had to uh, type in the exact CalDAV address. Apple is actually smart enough to know where to find the CalDAV address. And give it a description. This is the calendar. Hit next. Once again, it's just gonna verify and everything is on. So now it asks us, do we sync, wanna sync calendars and reminders? Go ahead and hit your save button. So now those are both in there. Let me pull up the calendar first. So here is our April calendar and you can see that our test events are plugged into the calendar. Now we'll kind of head on over here and find our contacts again. Here's our contacts app and now all of our individual contacts are all inside of here. So this is how to pull this off on an iPad and an iPhone, basically an iOS device. So next we will look at how to sync your contacts to your uh, Mac. Okay, here on the Mac, we are going to show you it's about the same process. In fact, nearly identical, just things are in a little bit different places. Now, before we do that, we're gonna boot up our contacts and our calendars as before. And uh, you can see here that there is nothing in our contacts and we'll boot up our calendar and we'll see that uh, there's nothing in the calendar. I just turned off the um, holidays so that uh, we wouldn't see those showing up. All right, so to get your next cloud synced in, you wanna get into your system preferences. I have it on my panel here, but in case you don't, head on into Launchpad and look for system preferences. So inside of here, we wanna go into internet accounts. So this is going to sync up any of your internet accounts. See, I have my junk Hotmail account over there um, just uh, for spammy and junk and throwaway stuff. 
So uh, over here, um, you will notice that uh, we do not have Nextcloud or OwnCloud in here, so we are going to use other account. Now this is an older version of Mac OS. It should not matter. I do not know of anything in here that has changed on more recent versions. So we're going to hit uh, Add Other Account, and you'll see that we have a variety of different options. So again, we need to set up two of them, one for the calendar and one for the contact. So that's your CalDAV and your CardDAV accounts. So these are the two that you, we want to create. So we'll go ahead and start with the calendar, hit create. And then the account type says automatic. We're just going to pull this down to manual. Uh, there is an advanced. We don't need that one. We just need to go down and do manual, enter your user. Of course, we are called test user and then our password. And then for this, there we have our server. No, we do not have to do the HTTPS in front of it. This will automatically try and sync in with a um, secure connection. So it should verify and then it will show up in our list of accounts. Now we're going to do that again. Now we're going to do the card DAV1 and this is going to be the same process. Now in my testing, taking it on, taking it off, sometimes it'll say here the account already exists and it won't be in the list. Um, in this case, we didn't get that. This is the expected behavior. So here we can see our contacts and our calendars are there. So let's go ahead and start in with our calendar. Now in April 2019, here is all of the test events that we had synced into our Nextcloud account. And let's go ahead and boot up our contacts as well. And we should see that all of our contacts from our Nextcloud account are in here. Um, this one is actually from the Mac. So this is all on Mac. This is just on the um, uh, just on this individual device. Or you can click all contacts and you can get everything that's in there between all of them. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and do one more thing though. While we are here, let's go ahead and add, uh, add creating, uh, test creating an, an account. This is something I have not done before. So I believe that this is a new contact. And what we're going to do, let's just give it a um, apple apple, kind of like pizza pizza, but this is apple apple. Um, Phone number dun, 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 four five six seven eight nine zero, and uh, email address. Let's do email at email dot email. Now, what I don't know is where is this automatically going to be syncing? I think I assume it's going to be syncing to uh, yes. So it looks like it is syncing to the TLML there. So let's go ahead and look at on Mac. We only see those. And over here, we should see Apple Apple show up. Of course, we can verify this by going into Safari. And let's go to our site. Uh, why Safari? <laughs> because we're on a Mac. Why not? Um, so let's go ahead and do this. And it looks like it doesn't work well on Safari. That's exciting. Um, that, by the way, is probably this particular version of Safari has issues with some new bootstrap. I'm aware of that. Um, my guess is this will work for you. Um, I really have to get past the project where I can't update this so I can update this. I really do need to. Um, but anyway, I understand the limitations. If it's too bad, I'll go into maybe Chrome or something. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and get logged in there. Oh, please work, please work. Oh, it doesn't work. All right, we're just gonna have to do Chrome instead. Let's just do Chrome. That is exclusively the fact that this is an old system. If you were to have Safari on a new version of Mac, that would work perfectly fine. All right, so let's go into Chrome. Oh, I think I need to capitalize my user. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. All right, let's go ahead and log that in. And we will go over to our contacts. And if Apple Apple shows up up here, then it means that it is working. And I saw it, it's right there, Apple Apple. So there we are successfully on the Mac and we are synced onto our 
uh, onto our um, uh, next cloud. We can add a contact through the Mac and it will show up in our cloud server. So there is syncing your calendars and your contacts to your iOS and uh, Mac OS devices. You can have a look at the playlist here for checking out how to sync um, uh, G app and non G app Android phones, all Linux devices, and we will do Windows 10 eventually. So thanks for coming along and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.